Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today we're going to be creating camera movement just like this in Adobe Flash. So let's get into it. Okay, so what you want to do first is go down into the description, find the link that says VCam and then click on it and it'll bring you to a website and you want to download the VCam Flash file. So then when you open it will come up a bit like this. And the main file you're looking for is the vcam underscore as3. So what you want to do is make sure that this is selected, hit control C, and then you just want to open up your other document that you want to put the camera into with control V. Okay, so what we want to do with this camera is make it look as if there's camera movement. Okay, so if you're wondering, vcam, it stands for virtual camera. So what's good about this virtual camera in Flash? is that when you usually export a video from Flash into another editing software and then you want to zoom it in then it gets quite pixelated and that's not very good so what this virtual camera does it actually zooms in on the video and then when you export it from Flash it saves it as if that this camera that's being moved is actually what you're seeing so I'm going to show you a few different things you can do with this virtual camera um, it's not only just moving it and uh, scaling it, but it actually has some other features because it is actually a movie clip. So what we might do first of all is we'll just go here and set a keyframe with F6. And we'll just go to here and we might start it off with, oh sorry, brightness. And we'll set it to negative 100%. And then here, make sure that brightness is on at 0%. So what's cool about this is after we add a classic tween is what we actually see will actually be dark and then this will be a nice sort of like opening um, as it gets brighter letting you see what's there. So what we can also do is um, insert a keyframe and another one with F6 and what we can do is go here and then we can scale it down and then say maybe um, zoom it into um, maybe the spinning logo. So we'll just create a classic tween and now what it'll do is it'll actually zoom in. So with the classic tween, any of these, both of these classic tweens will just add an ease. So this ease is sort of like the ease that you um, put on your other Adobe programs using Keyframe Assistant. So now what we'll get is a nice opening and then we'll zoom into this logo. So we can also make this slower. So pretty much what this is, it is just an animated object. But what's cool about this object is that it becomes the camera. So after that we might um, make it open make it open back up. And we might also rotate it a bit. So yes, it even rotates um, and the camera will look as if it's rotating. Okay, so now what we might do is we'll firstly bring it back. And then what we can even do is add a filter. So any of these filters will work and blur actually looks pretty cool. So what we might do is just set it to an X blur, so it's just blurring along that. And we'll create a classic tween for that. So now what it can do is say if it's moving uh, very, very quickly across, um, maybe we'll bring that in a bit more. And then what we can do is bring up the blur to maybe 10. And we'll bring this one's blur maybe back down. So now what this can do is it can make it as look as if as if it's blurring because it's going really quickly. So then what we can do is create another keyframe and then we can just bring the blur down and we'll bring it down quite quickly. Okay. So that's looking pretty good.
Okay, so now let's check out what's happened so far. Okay, that looked pretty cool. So, as we can see, it actually acts as the camera and all these things work. Um, and I mean, there's also more things that you can add to it. Um, but they're sort of the main sort of ones that I think look, look pretty cool. So again, go down to the description, find the um, link and download this and open it up in Flash. And find it here and just copy it and paste it into your own Flash animation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.